Okay hey guys, I'm here to teach you today how to do uh, static world objects is probably the best way to describe it. So it's an object that you can toggle through your inventory or through your uh, emote section that you can drop and basically walk away from. So uh, there is a couple of complications with it. So number one is if someone's not looking at you when you activate it or your avatar's not loaded or someone joins later after you've activated it, they won't see what you've done. Um, that and every second time you activate the animation, uh, sometimes the object will still continue to follow you around. But however, when you're done, uh, you'll end up with something that looks something like this. See, so yeah, I've dropped this, I can actually walk around it. This is just a little dance animation that I've activated, and all of this is on a empty game object. Okay. And then, say so if I want to get rid of it, all I can do is go to my emote section and disable it. Okay. So, to show you how I did all this, let's switch over to Unity. So now we're here in Unity. Um, I have my e-boy avatar <laughs> that I've made up for a friend of mine. Um, and the two things that you're going to need when it comes to this uh, first I'll give credits to um, uh, Nepsy Tune. Uh, Nepsy Tune is the one that'll t uh, teach you about how the inventory systems all work because you need a basic understanding of that. Um, I'll put the link to the VRCAT Club uh, link in the description. Once you've got a basic understanding of that, uh, there will be a download link with both the Unity package for the world object to enable it to stay still, as well as the inventory system download in the description below. Okay, so once you've got those two things uh, in your project, um, you'll have a world objects folder with a prefab and everything, and there will also be a inventory system uh, option as well, which uh, I think you can activate, there was somewhere up here that you can actually turn it on the inventory system, I can't remember which one exactly does it, however I have mine over here. So, let's just do a basic one. So the first thing you want to do, um, easiest way I find, is we'll go to the world objects, uh, go to the prefabs folder and drag your world object prefab in. Okay. So I'll have this transparent object, it's just located here in the center of the screen. What it tells you in the readme section for the uh, for this part is basically just replace this cube. Um, you want to make sure that your world joint object is actually visible. Uh, so we're going to make sure that's there. So it says there's a cube there. In this particular case, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm actually going to make the cube. The cube can be the demonstration piece for this one. I'm not going to put an animation on anything. Uh, just like the dances or anything, I'm just showing you how to get an object to appear in the game and how you can walk away from it. So, with this, it needs to be placed on the same level as your armature and body within your avatar. So you need to drag it in the first level of your avatar. So you have go basically, well in this case, Lens is E-Boy, and then you've got all your other bits and pieces in there. So, we can rename Ah, oh, actually no, we'll leave that as it is for the moment. Uh, all we need to do, it doesn't matter if you rename that, you can rename it for your own purposes. Uh, like I might just call it taut just for interest sake. Okay. Once you've got your object like this, uh, then all you need to do is come up to your inventory system. Uh, it'll ask you for an avatar first, so you drag your avatar into there. Uh, you can then drag your thing you want to have the inventory system on. So the important thing is when you're doing inventory systems, make sure that there's nothing hidden. Okay, like if, like say you're doing a dance or something like that, or got a model and normally you might have it hidden, like what these two are here, because um, they're normally activated by gesture. You don't do that. You leave it unhidden. The uh, process that's done over here will hide it for you. Uh, what you do from there is we drag this taut into the first item slot. You can have up to, I think it's, well, you can have as many inventory systems as you want. However, you're limited to, once again, how many emote slots you've got here. Okay. So, once you've dragged it into there, you go generate inventory. Okay. Let it do its process. See now the cube's gone. If 
from the screen. Uh, we now have got this uh, INV underscore TOR. That's, uh, that's to say that the inventory system's done. We go to back to our folders down here and we look for inventory system. Uh, in the inventory system folder, you've got animations. Okay, and we're going to look for our lens eboy because it's obviously our avatar's name. Uh, we've got a disable animations, enable, and global animations. So basically, global will enable all or disable all animations at once that you create throughout your inventory system, whereas you can get individual animations in both the enable and disable feature. In the enable folder, I want this tour enable. So you can see I've got other inventory systems on there at the moment, but more importantly, I want this tour enable. So what I do with this is I go back to my avatars controller, like the part that you put all your gestures into when you're doing custom gestures and stuff like that. Uh, in my case, it's in my lens folder, my facials folder, and I've got this default test controller here, back on the inspector tab, and you have your emote slots up here. You need to drag, so now that I've got that selected, if I click on the folder, um, where am I? Scroll back down, click on the folder for uh, jumper, lens, eboy, enable, okay? I've got this tour enable. If I just simply drag that into one of the emote slots, so I'm going to go with number five here, that's for the enable of it. You can rename that. It doesn't matter if you rename the animation. To rename it, just click on it, hit F2, and you can type in whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to go back here to facials again, default controller. Okay, and then in the other slot, we want the disable animation. So we've got the tour disable. So we've got tour enable and then tour disable. Once that's done there like that, um, you're done. That's that's basically, you can upload the avatar. Um, once it's uploaded, you'll have enable and disable. As long as you've done that, just as we've done there, you're good to go. Now, if, say for example, you did this UV animation, all that sort of stuff, you could turn around and turn this into a prefab if you wanted to by simply clicking and dragging it down into project. Do remember, you will need to regenerate an inventory per model that you put it on, uh, just because of the way the structure system works most of the time. Uh, I will also point out that I am using Unity 2017. I don't know if this system works on the newer versions, uh, especially not with the new Udon system. I don't know if they've changed all that. But basically, if I wanted to say have a model of this that did a dance or something like that so if i wanted to update this so instead of having a cube i have one of these lens uh that basically does a dance i'm just going to simply duplicate him okay so that's just Control d i just clicked on the model Control d i'm going to get rid of all these extra bits because the dancing model doesn't need those okay i'm going to replace the cube with an empty game object so to do that I'm clicking down here for blank space first. Go create an empty. We've got an empty game object. I'm going to drag it to the same level as the cube and just delete the cube. Okay, uh, let's just grab, I'm just going to grab a random dance that I've got um, out of my system. Uh, I'm going to get in my dances folder. Do, 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 do. Uh, and let's go. Uh, get some stuff that I've done. Okay, so like this black pink animation here, I'm just going to check that the animation has a activation for a cube set. Um, no, it does not, so I'll need to set that up first. So this is also going to include a tutorial on how to do animations on an avatar. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do... Actually, yeah, we'll do it that way. So I'm going to drag the... Uh, where are we? Black pink. Yeah, we'll go with black pink. So, black pink. I'm drag it onto the model. Okay. Just to show you what that does. Um, oops, I hit the main camera. I'm going to go into play mode. Okay. And I'll show you what I just did to the model. I've just dragged the dance animation onto it. Okay. So, he's just going to perform his little dance and that. But we've got no audio at the moment. So the audio I'm actually going to attach to the empty game object that gets activated with the inventory system. So uh, 
we want him to activate the moment that the game object activates for the dance. So we're just going to drag him underneath that. And on this, we're going to drag the audio file for Blackpink onto it. Okay, I just need to set up the outputs and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go master, uh, change it to a three-dimensional sound. You can play around uh, with the radius of the song and stuff like that, with the minimum distance and things like that, as well as the max. Uh, three-dimensional volumes up to full, that's fine. Play on awake is what we want, very important, otherwise it won't work. We can actually make sure this e-boy is shown, otherwise he he won't actually start dancing or he won't appear when you activate all this system. Now that that's done, I can show him again. If you don't have these little eyes to don't stress, uh, the same thing can be done up at the top right-hand corner by simply clicking the box next to the cube up here. I should have pointed that out at the start, sorry, that's just a little add-on that I've done with my own, just to make things a bit easier for me. Now, uh, we've got those, we've already added the tour inventory system or the tour control part into our controller, which will then mean it'll show up here in our emote section with the next upload. So, I'll do a quick upload and yeah, we'll check on the avatar then, so. Uh, I'll just drag this over here, do the upload, and real good. So build and publish. Uh, you can use the same inventory system to do things like this. So like you can see on the avatar at the moment, I've got a little guitar am uh, amp and a guitar on the left-hand side of him. It's a bit hard to see uh, while in desktop. But I have a inventory system here called Gear Out, and what it does basically puts the guitar from his hip onto his chest and the little speaker down the bottom there, the particle system that's screwing up it on at the moment. <laughs> um, then you can also, with the disable animation, I've just renamed it put away. So that way when I disable it, the things go back on my waist and they go from being on the floor or out back to where they should be. So I'll just upload this now. <laughs> So I would like to point out as well that I have um, am doing, in once again in the description, I'll copy this link here for those that want these prefabs. So they want the inventory system download and the uh, world object download, the Unity file. Um, they'll both be in the description. And also, guys, to uh, VRCat is a very resourceful website. You can find out a lot of stuff about how to do things. There's a lot of intelligent people on there. Um, do do use that website. So once again, it's vrcat.club. Um, you can find out things with help with world building as well as a lot of stuff with uh, obviously um, avatar creation as well. Just patiently wait. This is an unedited video by the way guys too. So. Unfortunately, I'm having to actually sit here and wait. Oh, to one other thing, make sure you're not in your avatar when you uh, do any uploads because that will, um, can sometimes not update the upload. Okay. I will also be doing more videos in the future. Um, I've had a few people ask me how to do things like the audio bars that are underneath my eyes, um, other bits and pieces as well. I will try and do some basic uh, from scratch to VR chat uh, videos, trying to teach those who are not as advanced how to basically resource a model, how to get it ready for Unity and then how to import it into uh, VRChat itself as well as I'll be showing off some of the websites that I use for my resource gathering um, in terms of models and stuff and what to look out for uh, when you're downloading from these particular sites so that you don't get stuck or make any mistakes because uh, there's not always the nicest people in the world when it comes to this sort of stuff. I will also do some world building videos as well, just showing off some of the stuff that I've managed to work out or I've been taught by others um, because once again knowledge is key and I think that if people know more they'll create more. And that's what we want at the end of the day so this game continues to flourish. 
I will be studying and learning the new Udon system as well uh, with VRChat with the latest update. However, at this time, I am very unknowledgeable on the subject. So, <laughs> okay, it's about three quarters done now. Sorry for the slow internet. If you guys have any questions to uh, or want to ask me anything uh, personally, I do have a Discord as well. It's uh, Mr. Spaghetti, Mr. Dot Spaghetti, um, hashtag 0959. Uh, do let me know. I do do commissions on things and stuff as well. Um, yeah, otherwise, if it's something that you just want to ask a generalized question about, do let me know as well. And I um, can try and help you to the best of my abilities. Do be aware, I do stream and do other things as well, so if I don't get back to you straight away, I do see a message, and I will get back to you as soon as I can, and I will try and help where I can. If it's a recurring question, I'll probably just do another video for it, um, to try and help and explain a lot of those things. So, I'm just waiting for this upload to finish so I can show you guys. Make sure it works. Now, don't be alarmed to, like, I'll show you sometimes what can happen when you're doing, oh, I won't change into it. I'll change into another one that I did it on a long time ago. Um, don't mind me, guys, I just gotta find it. It's a lot of avatars. I do have a public world too, full of avatars. That's what I'm standing in at the moment. Um, oh, that's, actually, that's updated now, so. I'll change into it. We'll just check it out. Alright, so now providing that I've done everything correctly, uh, we've got this now enable and disable tool. So if I go enable, I can hear him. Oh, here he is. He's just here beside me. <laughs> and see, I can actually walk around him. So the reason why he was just beside me was just the positioning that I did with it. I didn't move him forward in front of the avatar. But So that means also that anyone's in the world will see him as well. And because of the way inventory systems work, uh, he's not like limited to the minute animation that you would get from a normal dance. What's also very interesting is he can be doing that and I should be able to do multiple inventory system animations at once. So I should be able to also bring out these guys. Okay. So you're not limited to just one inventory system working at once. Um, and hell, I could even do an animation myself uh, if I click on one of my dancers. It's a bit hard to see because, yeah, obviously once again desktop. But yeah, that's uh, inventory systems plus world objects in one go. You could use this for anything you wanted to. Um, let me just disable those guys. Disable this one. Disable. You could spawn a shop. You could spawn... Uh, what I'm planning on doing with this avatar is doing a DJ station and... Much like what you can activate songs and stuff through gestures, you can use the same uh, process to do that with a world object. So my planning is that I'm going to have a DJ station for this avatar because the person I'm making for is a DJ. And I'll have it so that when the DJ station's out, if he does any hand gestures, it'll play songs of his. So yeah, he can show people his music. But if he's not holding a hand gesture, then it won't play any of the audio. But yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, once again, don't forget, uh, message me credits to VRCAT with um, their resource. Very knowledgeable people. Downloads in the description. Please do like, subscribe, whichever it is. <laughs> it does let me know that people are watching this and that it does interest them. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.